So is Amazon hurting retailers? Hey, everybody, it's Chad HD, host of the Chad HD Show, which airs weekday mornings 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. While everyone else is seeming to talk about still what happened in Charlottesville and the uh, comments made by President Donald Trump, I wanted to kind of talk about uh, something else that uh, Trump is getting into. And uh, it's it's not the first time. Uh, now he's going after Amazon. Amazon.com, and this isn't the first time that the president has gone after Amazon. He has gone after Amazon before uh, for what he says is not paying enough taxes, uh, which typically for Republicans, well, you know, we're not that high on everyone uh, paying more in taxes. But President Trump, he's upset with the Washington Post. He's upset uh, with Amazon and its, of course, owner and uh, uh, CEO, uh, Jeff Bezos. So, uh, of course, he's upset with Jeff, and, uh, well, uh, everything's going to uh, fall into place from there, I guess. But overall, uh, is Amazon hurting retailers? Well, we'll take a look at what uh, Trump had to say. This from Politico, quote, Amazon is doing great damage to tax-paying retailers. Towns, cities, and states throughout the U.S. are being hurt, many jobs being lost. The president wrote online just after 6 a.m. on Wednesday. Uh, Trump did not specifically accuse Amazon of any crime or tactic in his uh, Wednesday morning post on Twitter, uh, but he's accused the past, uh, or he's accused uh, in the past, the retailer of reaping competitive edges by not paying enough in taxes. Um, I think the president has to be a little careful here because, on one hand, he's right. Uh, Amazon has done damage to retailers, but that's the economy and that's the way things happen. Uh, is that, uh, you know, Amazon, everyone has access to Amazon. Uh, it's pretty easy to order stuff off of Amazon. And in many cases, it's pretty cheap to order stuff off of Amazon or it saves you at least a little bit of money. And uh, depending on if you're in a large U.S. city, you can sometimes pick up that same, uh, that your order on the same day. Or maybe it comes in two days later, uh, or maybe it comes in a few days later, depending on whether or not you have Amazon Prime. Uh, Amazon Prime also uh, lets you watch uh, uh, lets lets you watch a lot of movies and and other things. And this isn't a commercial for Amazon, so I'm not going to go through and list all the benefits of Amazon.com. I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you already know the benefits of Amazon. So yeah, has Amazon hurt retailers? Of course it has. Uh, just take a look at, uh, you know, some of the news with, uh, you know, uh, some of the big box retailers, JCPenney, Macy's, um, all these other, you know, Target, Kmart, uh, you know, the, the, the old big box places where we would all go and we used to do shopping. Well, the economy has changed. Uh, things are moving online. Um, I think that, uh, you have two people or two, uh, different parts of the industry that are really working right now. And that is, uh, you have Amazon, which is flourishing and more businesses are trying to go to the Amazon model. Just look at, uh, just look at your grocery store. A lot of grocery stores are now offering after Amazon started offering online grocery, uh, shopping, uh, for many items. A lot of grocery stores, uh, have now gone to Online grocery shopping where you can order your stuff, you drive up to the store, someone brings it out for you, it's quick, it's easy, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, Amazon is changing the way we shop. Amazon is changing the way we do business. So Amazon is obviously flourishing. But also, I think a lot of local businesses are flourishing because you do have the sentiment that you want to shop with the local guy. You want to help out the local business, the guy who's been uh, here locally for a long time. And, yeah, maybe his prices uh, might be a couple of bucks higher, but you know him. You know uh, that you can walk in and you can get something fixed. And if it's something like an appliance or something more expensive, you feel more comfortable walking into the store than you do ordering it on Amazon. So, yeah, Trump's probably correct in a way because... Amazon has changed the way we all shop, and Amazon will continue to change the way we all shop. Uh, Trump might be saying that uh, Amazon needs to pay more in taxes, but I would say even if Amazon does pay more in taxes, it's not going to hurt Amazon. People are going to keep shopping on Amazon because we like convenience. We all like to order from our uh, from our from our phones. We all like to order from our desktop computers, our laptops. 
uh, we all like shopping on Amazon. It's just, you know, a way of life now. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, uh, for a lot of people, uh, they get on Amazon, they look stuff up after they've even gone to a store to look at a product. They look it up because it's easy. It's easy to buy. Sometimes it's, uh, uh, it's, it's cheaper and it's just ease of use. Um, the reason I say that Trump has to be careful here, uh, is for one big reason. People love Amazon. Uh, they may not love the Washington Post. You can get people on board hating the Washington Post. It's kind of easy to do. Uh, you've got uh, Republicans, especially, who are not going to like the uh, Washington Post. But when it comes on, when it comes to Amazon, that's uh, a little bit tougher, and it's a little bit harder to get millennials on board, uh, younger people on board, because again, Amazon is so popular and Amazon is connected to so many people. So if I were President Trump, instead of going around and slamming Amazon, you might look for someone else to uh, push around and that may help uh, your polling numbers uh, going into the future. Tune in to the Chad AC Show weekday mornings, 830 to 11 a.m. Central Time. News Talk 95.1 FM, 790 AM KFYO. Have a great day.